Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. So if you watched the movie called The Avengers with uh, Iron Man, Hulk and whatever other mythical creature that exists. So yeah, they had an aircraft carrier VTOL and so that's what I tried making here. Uh, this VTOL fails and let me show you why. Alright, here it is. You'll see why this one fails. Bang. You see that? See how it's all wobbly and everything is almost disconnected and look at my struts I have underneath there. You see each each strip here has been placed. That's one strip, two strip, three, four, five, you know. But I had a better idea which is more stronger and stable and turns out much much more better. Now when you make a VTOL with jet engines or turbojet engines the problem with them is that they are inconsistent so if one side lifts up that could actually change the amount of airflow that goes into the engine which would probably increase its thrust by a small amount which would uh, out of put your ship out of whack and so this is that's what happens here quite a bit of the time but let me throttle up to about here and I'll show you what happens it's just like a boat this thing and I guarantee you it can go in the water, but I haven't gotten that there before. Okay, the thrust is still increasing. Look at it from the side. There it is. We do have RCS. And as you can see, the, the front side is more powerful than the back side because of the position. Even though everything is in the center, so the lift, the mass. So that's all I could get. You want to turn the RCS off. Uh, bad stuff happens. Turn on, it really does help. And I just wasted a RCS fuel. But yep, that's the VTOL. And yeah, that, that fails quite a bit of the time. But you know what? Next design. Now the same thing with the previous design, this is Mark III, but I have removed the bottom bowl-like layer, bowl-shaped layer, and so, yeah, that's all that's left of it, but there's still inconsistency with it, so I decided to make a, a new VTOL, my own design, with rocket engines, which is consistent, and it is, it is stable, but it does go out of whack every now and then as well unfortunate but then it lifts up like that so far it's balanced out but I think it moves to the right hand side let's just check no it's good yeah this one's much more stable compared to jet engines and it looks better in my opinion yeah what my plan was originally to get it was to get one of those ships to fly onto this VTOL while it was in the air so while it was in midair just like this but unfortunately when I changed to the other ship that will start falling down now if you've watched my UFO video um, I was actually able to get my UFO staying in the air and I have no idea what's going on now um, they changed something in the update I didn't that I didn't notice but oh well so yeah, that's the VTOL. I just thought I'd show this. I find it pretty cool. Look at that. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about trying to do the land speed record challenge thing. And that's that's my start. That's what I've come up with so far. It is fast. Uh, I'm thinking about removing the gimbal range. So I'm going to lock the gimbal for each engine because the gimbal does shake the en the whole ship here makes it out of whack and stuff I don't think this rocket max fuel tank does anything if we throttle there you go. awesome right it's good alright well next design This is the last design, it is called Longify. Um, with the next KSP update, they said in 
the KSP wiki that they are adding rover parts, which is great. We need a bunch of new parts. And the disadvantage with KSP is it need it constantly needs updating, otherwise people will get sick of it. Aside from that, this is an awesome design. I just came up with the idea. It's really, really cool. It is it is a bit shaky because of how long it is and these engines here on the side. Don't be too rough with it. Um, okay, we'll just go to the other runway because turning it might destroy it right now. There. I never, almost never go to the other runway. Yeah, we'll do that for today. Now, I know I can use mods in KSP. I don't like to use mods. I, I brought the game not to use mods that random authors create. Seriously. I expect the KSP team to put in the important stuff into the game that they think is, is valuable. Not other random models around there. So, yeah, that's my opinion of them. Although there are some cool mods, I have to admit. Not that I've tried any. Other than the hyper edit, that's good. <gasps> yeah, no. No. Oh, screw it, let's just smash. Yep, that would do. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, not that again. <laughs> and have a nice day.